And then you can see the bus navigating the roundabout. You can see that he uses a lot of space and a little bit of the curbs to make a turn. Yeah. And on the bottom side, actually the south side, you see that there's a bi-directional cycling path. I was just going to mention that, yeah. Yeah, and the reason why is because on the right hand you see also a bi-directional path leading towards the roundabout. If you want to make a left turn as a cyclist, you can see that on the left side there's also a bi-directional cycle path. Yeah. So either you make a full circle, which is 80% longer than making a left turn. Right. And we actually expect cyclists to make a left turn anyway, because they're humans, and humans are inherently lazy. So uh, here the, 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 it's legalized, uh, having a bi-directional crossing on a roundabout. And the same goes for the east side, on the right hand, you see also bi-directional, but not on the uh, north and the west side, so the upper and the left side. Reason is that there is no need at that point, and that that's the main direction for all the buses.